Folks, I want you to imagine something. Floating in a boat, about to come ashore in a foreign land as bullets are whizzing by your head. When that steel door flops down, you can see so many Americans already dead in the water and on the beach. Yet our boys move forward with an indomitable fighting spirit that may still be unmatched to this very day. Yesterday marked the 77th anniversary of D-Day. 156,000 American, British, and Canadian forces landed on five beaches along those heavily fortified coasts of France's Normandy. It's estimated 4,400 Allied troops lost their lives during the D-Day invasion. The German casualties are estimated to be as high as twice that. June 6, 1944 should go down as one of America's proudest days, but how does our current commander-in-chief celebrate it, honor it, memorialize it? Well, he doesn't. Not even a tweet about the day that was the beginning of the end for World War II. Even the Biden-loving media asked him, Jen Psaki, the president's spokesperson, why Joe Biden didn't even acknowledge D-Day. I can tell you that certainly the, uh, val his value for the role that men and, uh, the men who served uh, on D-Day uh, and the memory of them, uh, the families who have uh, kept their memories uh, alive over the course of years on this day is something the president has spoke to many, many times in the past. Unbelievable. She didn't really say much anything. She certainly didn't answer the question about why Joe Biden didn't memorialize the men who lost their lives on D-Day, and the survivors right now in America that are dwindling so very fast. There's almost none of them left. The commander-in-chief owed it to them to say something yesterday, and he didn't. It's sad. Well, we honor all of them right here on Newsmax. I'm Grant Stinchfield. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow, 8 p.m. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.